facing you. Yeah. You'd be able to like run in here, take cover, Any event? repair this oh. wall. So now he has no idea where you are? Well, he knows I'm in there somewhere. He can't get to me, that's for sure. And then you recharge, let your health get back up, and boom, nanoforge push, get out of there. Get ready to take on the world again. <laughs> of course, the Magna Gun is my favorite thing in the world. Shoot. We pretty much already destroyed the entire... Oh, it like tethers everything together? Well, basically you shoot one projectile. Let's take that. And then you attack another projectile. Let's do this. Or excuse me. And boom. It just drags everything over. So Nice. Especially handy with uh, the abundance of explosive barrels and, and fuel tanks on the surface of oh, Mars. Just link them together? Oh, yeah. Just drag those babies across the screen. Now, where it gets really fun is when you're fighting humans and aliens and just smashing these guys into each other, grabbing a guy and shooting them all the way up to the ceiling, or just like, you know, guys bothering you, just throw them across the screen. It's pretty awesome. So is this a weapon you have pretty much throughout the game, then? You get it very early on. It's pretty much the signature weapon. Just too fun not to have. I mean, when you have this kind of destruction technology, these guys sit down like, what's the best way we can, one, blow shit up and just have fun with this geometry? Well, blowing stuff up is one thing, but when you're able to, like, fling entire buildings across the screen, that's, that's another, so. The next iteration. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's destruction, and then they just took it to a whole other level with them. Using the destructible environment to destroy itself. And then it's like, you throw in the repair functionality, and that's kind of like the unsung hero. Like, you're... Maybe you're crossing a bridge and a bunch of humans are chasing you. Go ahead and detonate that bridge as you run across, get to safety. Then if you need to come back, you can always build it later. It's one of uh, Darius's unique uh, uh, instruments. It actually was passed down from the Mason family, uh, back from Gorilla, through Jake Mason and Red Faction Origins. Uh, that's a sci-fi movie coming out uh, later this year. And then uh, now, thankfully, Darius has it here and we get to have a lot of fun with it in uh, Armageddon. How many different weapons do we end up uh, playing with? God, it's what is it like 20? It's a lot. I mean, but you. And then there's a lot of like downloadable weapons that we'll be uh, we'll be showcasing later. Some uh, kind of pre-order bonuses and things like that. But uh, when you when you look at like the weapon diversity, I know. And then you have the four nano forge abilities too. Like like shell is like this protective shield, and when you power this thing up through upgrades and salvage points, you can actually like walk into enemies and they just like dissolve. Or uh, another good one is uh, Shockwave. This puts enemies in a stasis field, and the fully upgraded one, enemies are just floating around, and then all of a sudden they're like, they just explode. It's the energy is too, too strong for them. So the fully souped up Nano Forge and like weapons like the plasma cannon. I love the Singularity Cannon. This is the black hole. Reminds me of my ex-girlfriend. Just sucks everything in and spits it out. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty awesome. I know. So Thanks so much. Yeah. So there's your first look at Ruin Mode. I hope you liked it. Looks fantastic. Can't wait to get my hands on it. Awesome. Right, thanks so much.